welcome back to the channel guys appreciate you tuning in I'm working on a recipe right now that my wife and I really like to do some bacon wrapped teriyaki venison filet mignons it is so good so I'm gonna show you guys just a little bit of the prep work on that and then we're gonna get into a hunt that we had earlier this season so let's get right into it it didn't make as loud of a clap the first time, so I had to do it twice. First things first, I actually already took off the silver skin on this, um, but if you do have silver skin, the filet method works really well. Um, I actually already did it over here. If you would just make a cut down to that silver skin, you can just filet it right down just like a fish. You have a super sharp knife, it'll just run that silver skin right down and off. So now that we've got that, any trimmings you might have to do, if you have any meat that's you know, browned or grayed, um, you might have to do some trimmings right now. So I actually have a little bit here I'm gonna cut off. Now that will go to the dog. Okay, then what I do next is, I'm gonna be making like basically filet mignons out of this. So I'm just trying to match the same width of a piece of regular bacon here. So if you think about it, those are usually about an inch wide. So I'm gonna do about an inch, inch and a half because this will get some shrinkage and go ahead and do a butterfly here. So I'm gonna cut this down where there's just a little bit left and then try and cut the same exact size all the way through. I'm gonna just repeat that on the entire back strap here. All right, beautiful. So it's early in the morning right now. I'm gonna actually cook these for dinner tonight for my wife and I. But one thing I like to do with venison, it's Kinder's teriyaki sauce. For some reason is the best teriyaki sauce I use with any kind of venison. I don't typically do teriyaki a lot with venison, but it seems to go well with this filet recipe, but you could just salt, pepper, garlic this, throw the bacon around it, get it on the smoker, but not today. Today we are going to marinate it. So I'm gonna throw all of these into a bag here, just a one gallon bag. All right, so we got our filets sitting here in the bag. I'm gonna throw some Kinders in there, some of that teriyaki sauce to just kind of cover. And we're gonna let that marinate until tonight. All right, then we're gonna seal it, throw her in the fridge. All right, the back straps are marinating in the fridge, but we are into November right now. It's, it's the second week in November. The hunting has been fantastic. We've had some, some really good hunts and have had a couple crew members harvest deer. But what I'm gonna do is actually take you guys to one of the best hunts we've had this season that was back in October. And then after that, I will show you the end result of these bacon wrapped teriyaki venison filet mignons. They're so good. So you won't wanna miss that part, but we'll get right into the hunt guys and I hope you enjoy it.
said. I thought you said it was a doe. No, yolk. I should have probably even been a little more specific. I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Why do we have How far was that?
It is October 29th. It's been quite the eventful morning so far. We haven't had a, had a chance to do the interview yet because we've had deer everywhere. We've had one buck that's kind of kind of a shooter. He's just like that Uno buck from last year. He was right here at 19 yards and it's about we couldn't shoot. And if he would have taken a few more steps, I definitely would have shot at that deer. But we also had a few does early on. Kind of got on edge, and I look up, and there's a coyote that came, came right up the trail. Right here, you'll see the footage. I I was able to shoot that, so never shot a coyote before, and with a bow, it was pretty cool. I've always wanted to do that. But yeah, it's an awesome morning. Frost on the ground, nice and cold. And we got set up really early. And we were sitting in the dark for about an hour, so. I've got two more arrows left, so whether a coyote or one of the shooters wants to come in, that'd be awesome. All the deer have come really close this morning, within 20, 25 yards, so we'll probably rattle the antlers a little bit together in a bit here, but we're going to just sit tight and enjoy the morning. It's been awesome, so stay with us. Well, that hunt did not end the way we hoped. We always hope to make a quick, clean kill and unfortunately never ended up finding that coyote. So awesome hunt though overall. And now I wanna get right into this recipe that I showed you guys what I do is prep work beforehand. We're gonna get right into it. It's one of my favorites. Let's do it. All right, so now that we've had the back straps marinating, we're gonna get them wrapped in bacon and all prepped, but First things first, we're gonna get this, some salt, pepper, garlic spread all over the back straps. Right, flip them over and do the same. All right, now we're gonna wrap them in this bacon. What I actually did with the bacon, a little trick to get it crisper, is to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about eight minutes. And if you are having trouble getting it crisp that way too, you can also put a little flour on it. That seems to help it crisp up a bit. So we're gonna get these wrapped. All right, so this should look a little bit of something like this. Then what I'm gonna do to add a little flavor and help them crisp up on the smoker is to throw some of this honey killer bee on there. You can use any barbecue rub, any kind of dry rub that you like, but this is my preference. So I'm gonna get that spread on the bacon. All right. Well, those are ready to get on the smoker. We got the grill set to 400, ready to throw these babies on. 
want to make sure to press the meat down so it's got good grade contact on the grill. I'm going to do that to all of these. So those are going to go about four minutes a side. Four minutes a side. And if you want to get fancy, you can rotate them. Yeah, if you want to get fancy, you can rotate them every two minutes. Just rotate them like 90 degrees and it gets those really sweet square diamond grill marks. But I think for tonight, I'm just going to go four minutes a side, get them grilled up. We want that internal temp to hit about 130, 135 on the grill. It'll kind of raise up on its own once they rest for about five minutes. So we're going to let those go for about four minutes. Then flip them, do the same until they reach that 130, 135 mark. And oh, I can't wait to taste these babies. All right, we're at four minutes. You can get these babies flipping. Ooh, they're getting some good color. Woohoo! We got them flipped. They're starting to look good. Next thing I'm going to do is get a meat probe in one of these guys. I'm going to go for one of the medium sized ones. So I'll stick it right in this guy. right in the middle of that filet. We'll see, once those hit 130, they're gonna be golden. So, just a couple more minutes. We've reached the eight minute mark. About eight to 10 minutes we did for them. We're gonna pull these boys off, they're looking good. We're gonna let these babies sit for just a couple minutes because that's about all I can handle and then we're gonna dig in. I'm gonna cut into this baby and give her a try. Looks like it's cooked perfectly. Let's give it a shot. That'll eat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. If you're looking to impress somebody, run that one by them. Oh my gosh. We got teriyaki, crispy bacon. So good. Good recipe. I'm glad you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to finish two in a second. That is so good now. <laughs> Get some of that. <laughs> oh, God. Nailed it. All right, well, I'm going to enjoy this dinner. Thank you guys again for tuning in. If you liked getting some recipes, I've got plenty of them for venison. I can always make like a catch clean cook type thing and uh, show you guys a few recipes too. But thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time. Seth Proof, there's our trimmings going to the dog. He looks ready. Let's get it to him. Smashing. Can't let any of it go to waste.